Who that nation? What's going on? It's your boy Ace Boogie. The Bengals lose a tough one, 21 to 20. But I'm going to tell you why you should not hang your head and why you should be proud of this team. Number one, nobody expected them to win this game, right? Vegas had the Bengals losing by at least 10 points. All the money was on the Bengals losing by at least nine points or better. The Bengals covered. Number two, this was a game that they had to go into without A.J. Green. They lost Joe Mixon during the game. They went in without their starting left tackle, Cordy Glenn, who was going to be primarily matched up against Devion Clowney. They still performed admirably, minus all of those. Um, they should have won the game. I agree that they should have won the game. They made some mistakes coming out of the second half. You can't leave points on the scoreboard, but they showed a lot of promise. Drake Kirkpatrick uh, made up for his blunder in the first half. He was able to recover a fumble. He was able to create a quarterback sack. Um, the defense played amazing. This was a unit that finished close to last in the league last year, and they played admirably. They went on the road in one of the toughest environments to play in, if not the toughest environment, and they brought it to the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Tyler Lockett had one catch. Yes, it was a touchdown. He had one catch the entire game. Uh, they did a great job against the Seahawks offense. They pretty much bullied them the entire game. Uh, they did a good job, in my opinion, against the run, stopping the run. And they did good, uh, in my opinion, against the pass as well. They had a lot of opportunities where they could have capitalized on them. I understand that. There was weather issues. There were turnovers that happened. And then they were screwed at the end with the call that was clearly an incomplete pass. And you're talking about 15 seconds being left on the clock or 10 seconds. That was still enough for them to actually get in the field goal range to try um, and do what they could to try to escape with a win. But at the end of the day, they played great. Andy Dalton, I had to give, take my hat off to him. Andy Dalton, a career high in passing yards, 418, without A.J. Green. If you were to tell me that the Cincinnati Bengals were going to go into Seattle and Andy Dalton was going to have a career high in passing yards, I would laugh at you. John Ross had a breakout game. We, he literally almost had as many receiving yards as he had in the entire season last year in one game. You got Joe Mixon coming back. He's got an ankle injury, so he'll be out for a little while. You've got A.J. Green returning to this offense in a few weeks, hopefully. Maybe by week of four or five, but he's still coming back. Um, you've got the San Francisco 49ers next week. In my opinion, I will be there at Paul Brown Stadium. I don't think that they are as good as the Seattle Seahawks. They'll be on the road. We'll be at home. We'll have home field advantage for that game. Um, Auden Tate did not play in this game. He was missed as well. So you're talking about a team that clearly will not be picking in the top five next year. I think that was one thing that was definitely shown in this game, unless the Seahawks are complete trash, which I don't believe they are. They played a great game. Um... You're talking about a team that's definitely not going uh, three or five or winning three or five games. Like, we all knew that they weren't. Um, you're talking about a team that's only going to get better. This is Zach Taylor's first game calling a game with Andy Dalton, and they almost went to Seattle and went in and took off with a win and a victory. And Andy Dalton had his best game passing yards-wise than he's had in his entire career in their first game without the number one receiver. Those are reasons that you guys should not be worried about losing this game. So kudos to the team. I'm very proud of how they performed. I'm very proud of Andy Dalton. I'm proud of the defensive line. I'm proud of John Ross. I'm proud of these guys. So let's support them and let's go ahead and get a victory next week in the jungle. Who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday.